I welcome you all on your PD education and uh, you are watching the series of engineering services paper one questions and I'm uh, presently discussing with you safety video number three. So uh, in this uh, particular video, I have come with 10 uh, questions uh, which will clear some concepts here for uh, this particular topic that is safety and I'm going to cover the topics of ergonomics and uh, uh, various constitutional provisions uh, related to safety features and health features and also uh, organize uh, this occupational health and safety say related which or India key provisions so that is what I'm going to discuss with you so let's uh, start directly with the questions so uh, these are the domains which I'm going to cover in this uh, test number three so let's read the first question and let's see how we can answer to this question so uh, read the question which of the following uh, are the main objectives of having safety and health legislation occupational safety and health uh, legislation in India you know uh, there are so many laws <clears throat> uh, I will discuss with you various laws and legislations related to occupational safety and health in Indian context so uh, what are the main objectives so read the statement wise one providing the statutory framework for the safety two providing technical and administrative support three providing system of incentive to the employees to resort or stick to such kind of safety standards and uh, fourth enhance the reputation of the organization so uh, what is do you think is the main objective so before I discuss the answer I want you to uh, click or hit the answer for this particular question okay so let me tell you this uh, fourth reputation concept is uh, not the answer no doubt जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑक्यूपेशनल सेफ्टी एंड हेल्थ लेजिस्लेशन को फॉलो करती है या ऑक्यूपेशनल सेफ्टी एंड हेल्थ पे काम करती है वट एवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज वर्किंग दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नो डाउट एंजॉयज गुड रेपुटेशन अमंग पीपल बट द पर्पज इज नॉट लॉज का पर्पज इज नॉट टू एनहांस द रेपुटेशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द लॉ पर्पज ऑफ द लॉ लॉ इज to provide statutory reference or framework a law legal system uh, administrative and technical support is to be provided through that and uh, incentive will be given to employees if they stick to such safety norms so to promote the safety of the employees over their infrastructure machine tool uh, everything should be safe and uh, health uh, should not be compromised during work something like that but this enhancing the reputation that is not one of the objectives now through this question I want you to remember what are the various objectives so as you know you can download you can download this entire document PDF is attached to you so you just remember it and I've already told you that uh, this entire series was to cover 500 plus questions and I believe some approximately 600 questions have already covered very good quality questions usko download karo ek file mein lagao and keep revising and the best part is questions concepts through questions you know so concepts are detailed may discuss key again so through this question you get this particular th theory part so every mentor is coming out with the best uh, theory for your benefit so you just remember remember this through this question so that if the exam a question comes what is the main objective related to the legislations you should be in position to solve it so read these all now these are the main objectives of such kind of laws or legislations in India providing the statutory framework right so uh, all sectors of economic activities may these laws are to be provided uh, so uh, compliance enforcement incentive for better compliance that is a term you know incentive for better compliance so if somebody is uh, uh, having a compliance good compliance he should be given incentive administrative and technology technical support services are to be provided system of incentive to employees or employer so that they achieve high health and this is the point incentive not only to employees but employers also so that they do this establishing and developing research and development capabilities in emerging areas of risk yes R&D facilities you know this is called R&D facilities should be created in the organization and R&D facility create karne ke liye money is required resource are to be pulled in so R&D facilities to be created in the areas of risk and effective control measures reducing the incidence of work related injuries fatalities and disease cost of workplace injuries disease increasing community awareness regarding this okay this is also one of the objectives so I want the community to be aware 
about these kind of things that is the meaning of this particular thing so this all are combined together as a objective of occupational safety and health let's go for next question now read this question which of the following is not correctly matched safety laws in india you know there are some safety laws in india which are very important though anshul sir has discussed all these laws in detail with you uh, so what are the main important laws that you should memorize so tell me which one is not correct uh, this is only data oriented question there is no concept involved in this but only data oriented questions and these are some very very important laws you know so factory act 1948 is correct uh, mines act 1952 is correct works men compensation act 1923 is correct but child labor prohibition act 1966 is wrong as i told you this is purely data so which is not correctly matched through this question i want you to now remember name of some laws and when they were created let me tick important you will be having this uh, so what are the most important you remember this uh, plantation i don't think this is important you should go for this okay motor transport workers act that can be important contract labor this can be important so i'm giving you some important laws you can tick in your uh, this notes whatever notes uh, you will download cinema workers let me see yes dock workers this is important building and construction is very important regulation act this is very important <coughs> okay uh, i think this is the too important so i'm giving you the minimum you need to memorize okay empowerment of women say like equal remuneration act that is uh, this is important uh, children child labor act this was the act which was 66 wrongly it was given yes worksman compensation act uh, provident fund payment of gratuity insurance act this two you can do okay let me give you others so others can be uh, this one this one this one bd iron ore mines sign a worker employment manual scavenger construction or no not that limestone just avoid all of them don't worry go for next employment exchange not this so what can be the other options here for us okay national war fatalities uh, this particular thing war injuries compensation personal injuries act personal injuries um, emergency provisions this can be done this can be done and uh, labor laws public liability insurance act i think these are the important laws so i given many laws and these are the important laws which you should memorize let us go for next question now which which of the following uh, is included in industrial safety process safety material safety infrastructure safety environment safety to kaun sa in mein se safety ke andar aap include karte ho that is a question which of the following is included in industrial safety okay what answer do you want to hit which answer you want to give for this tell me answer is all of them and you know through this i want you to now go through this industrial safety covers a number of issues and topics uh, not only safety of people but equipment also and infrastructure also so uh, you know many students think that industrial safety means safety of the people working there no not only people working but instrument ki bhi safety tool ka safety infrastructure safety processes which you are doing safety of the processes also so industrial safety includes everything you know so it is a general safety uh, i mean common to all the industrial then occupational safety and health it is related to basically the occupation part process and production safety you have to consider that material safety workplace safety fire safety electric safety building and structure infrastructure environment safety so industrial safety is a very broad term so do not misunderstand that industrial safety means safety of the person working in industries it is the safety of entire industry also so a person can be safe or only uh, let me ask you a question a person inside a building which is not safe do you think a person is safe no a person working on the machine which itself is not safe do you think a person is safe no so if the person is dealing with the machine if a person is dealing with some process if the person is working in some workplace and these things are not safe person cannot be safe and hence when we say industrial safety it is not the safety of the person it is safety of everything that is the meaning of it 
so i hope this is clear to you let's go for next question now which of the following is the main labor law in india okay abhi abhi aapne kiya hai tell me which is the main labor law in india इंडस्ट्रियल लेबर लॉ एक्ट इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट एक्ट वट डू यू थिंक ये आपको याद करना है लेबर का मेन जो लॉ है ना इंडिया के अंदर दैट इज दिस लॉ इंडस्ट्रियल डिस्प्यूट एक्ट 1947 फोर्टी सेवन इट वॉज इनेक्टेड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन इट सेल्फ फर्स्ट अप्रिल एंड इट रेगुलेट्स इंडस्ट्रियल लेबर लॉ सो दैट सो फार एज it concerns the trade union as well as the individual workman employed in the industry that is the meaning of it so a uh, trade union is a term which is uh, basically used in industrial dispute act 1947 okay so uh, let's go for next question now read this question article 24 of indian constitution is related to provision of the child labor you know article 24 is the fundamental right uh, this is absolute law under directive principle of state policy uh, it is directive principle of state policy okay uh, which which one do you think is correct which one do you think is correct you know uh, article 24 is the absolute law but it is not directive principle of state policy it is fundamental right it is the absolute you know what is absolute absolute means there is no exception uh you know that uh, in part 3 of indian constitution part 3 of indian constitution article 12 to 35 are the fundamental rights out of these fundamental rights only two fundamental rights are absolute that means there is no exception of that that means you, there is no like uh, every other fundamental right has exception like right to equality state will not discriminate on the basis of caste religion region etc but state does discriminate that is called a positive discrimination reservation is a positive discrimination on the basis of the caste state will do discrimination in employment higher education etc so that is not absolute law there is a exception to that uh, similarly right to life and all these things there is a exception to that no uh, st state cannot take the life of anybody you know but what about capital punishment then fansi ki saza kya hoti hai state le to leti hai life एक्सेप्शन है सो so, दो ऐसे लॉज हैं जिनका कोई एक्सेप्शन नहीं है एक चाइल्ड लेबर और एक आपका अनटचेबिलिटी इसका कोई एक्सेप्शन नहीं है सो दिस इज आर्टिकल 24 फोर इज बेसिकली द एब्सोल्यूट लॉ बट अंडर फंडामेंटल राइट नॉट डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी डीपीएसपी इज मैं अंडर पार्ट फोर ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड दैट इज आर्टिकल थर्टी सिक्स से फिफ्टी वन इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग दैट इज द डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी so i believe this only first statement is correct second is incorrect so a will be the answer for that only first is correct i think in this it is wrongly mentioned so uh, this is not c answer is a only it is uh, basically article 24 is prohibition of employment of children in factory etc so that is the meaning of it okay let's go for next question which of the following article of indian constitution is related to humane working condition in workplace so which one do you want to go for article which one human working condition in workplace again debt oriented question so article 42 is the provision for just and human conditions of work and it is also related to maternity relief maternity relief state makes the provision to secure just and human working conditions in the industries and maternity relief also ye jo uh, mothers uh, jab when you are expecting and then leave is providing provided to you for couple of months or something so that loss is related to that what do you mean by ergonomics ergonomics ka ek aur naam kya hai what is the another name of ergonomics is a very important topic in industrial safety and what do you think is the name you know human factor is the another name of ergonomics and through this question i want you to understand what is human factor or what is ergonomics ergonomics is the process of designing or arranging the workplace product system so that they fit the people who use them fit the people in the workplace product and system i am the person who is to work here so i should arrange my camera my everything lighting system so that 
I fit myself into this. If lighting is not appropriate, my eyes may there may be some kind of strain. So if uh, sitting posture is not there, if the height at which I am working is not appropriate, so my health issues will So ergonomics or human factor is that branch or that domain which deals with fitting the people into their workplace and designing the workplace for that particular thing. And the ultimate purpose is to provide safe, comfortable and productive workplaces by bringing uh, human abilities and limitations into design of workplace. You understand that including individuals, body, size, strength, skill, speed, sensory abilities. So that everything. So that is the meaning of this particular thing. It is that branch of science that aims to learn about human abilities and limitations. You know, human being has some abilities, human being has some limitation. It is not that I start picking, uh, lifting the load, repetitive work if I do, so I health issues, are there, you know. So human being has some limitations. And you need to improve the interaction with the product system environment. Ergonomics applies to the design uh, of uh, anything that involves people, workplace, uh, sports, leisure, uh, these things are involved, health and safety. It is concerned with fit between the user equipment and environment accounts for users capabilities and limitations in uh, seeking to ensure that task function information environment suit. So these are nothing but uh, as I told you just to download it and understand the ergonomics hack. Yeah, understand. Let's go for next question now, which of the following is not the goal of human factor. Ergonomics ka goal kya nahi hai, which of the following is not the goal of human factor. Minimize the risk of injury or harm, reduce the human error, increase the productivity, enhance the work interaction. What do you think is not the purpose? Okay, minimize risk, reduce human error, increase productivity is. Increase productivity how? If I feel active, if I am not under the fatigue, if ergonomics is proper, human factor is good, then I will not feel tired, I will not feel, uh, let's say, uh, fatigued and I will work more. I will work more, productivity will be more. So it will enhance productivity. Work interaction is not the answer for that. So these are the goals or of ergonomics or human factor. Goals of ergonomics or human factor. Minimize the risk of injury or harm, improve the workplace or environment for human comfort, reduce human error, increase productivity, enhance the safety, improve the occupational health, uh, then improve the comfort, prevent repetitive strain injuries and other musculo musculoskeletal disorder. I will discuss with you what is the MSD, work stress related disabilities. These are the some goals. Inko yaad karlo, what are human ergonomics ke goals ke hain. Okay, which of the following are the principles of ergonomics? On what principles or guidelines ergonomics or human factor is designed? You have to work in neutral postures, you have to reduce excessive force, you have to work at proper height, you have to minimize the pressure point. So what are the principles? Which do you think are the principles? In my opinion, all are principles, all are correct statements. So learn these principles. 10 fundamental principles are there in the ergonomics or uh, human factor. Work in neutral uh, postures. Neutral postures means aisa koi posture jo naturally tumhara posture hota hai, usme tumhe work karna hai. Neutral posture bolte hai usko. Natural posture. You are not too excessively jaysay, abhi mera natural posture hai. Suppose I start standing like this, inclined. That is not my neutral. Neutral is this, you understand? Or if suppose I start working like this, or I start working like this, that is not a neutral posture. Like hands ko neutrally kaise rakhte hain, aise rakhte hain. Agar suppose if I keep my hands like this for long duration of time, to mere ko health, that is hand mein strain a jayega. So that is the meaning of it. Excessive force ko avoid karna hai, everything within the reach rakhna hai, proper height pe kaam karna hai. Reduce excessive motions ko reduce karna hai. Fatigue and static load ko hume uh, remove karna hai, pressure points ko minimize karna hai, clearance provide karni hai, more exercise and stretching mirko karna hai. Stretching karna hai because you know, if I keep on stretching my body, to strains vera aapka chala jayega. So exercise jisko bolte hai. Maintain a comfortable environment, ecosystem should be comfortable in which you work. And environment mein everything comes, lighting system, air uh, uh, purity in which I am working, everything comes into that. 
ओके इंजरीज ड्यू टू पुअर एर्गोनोमिक्स आर कॉल्ड मस्को मस्कुलो स्केलेटल डिसऑर्डर एम एस डी मस्कुलो स्केलेटल डिसऑर्डर दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड रेपिडिटी मोशन इंजरीज दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड रेपिडिटी मोशन इंजरीज यस दिस इज द डेट ओरियंटेड क्वेश्चन ओनली सो पुअर एर्गोनोमिक्स एम एस डी एंड रेपिडिटी मोशन डिसऑर्डर थ्रू दिस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस एर्गोनोमिक्स और मस्कुलो स्केलेटल डिसऑर्डर एम एस डी क्या होता है एम एस डी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर एग्जाम Injuries which are because of poor ergonomics are called MSD and they are big, uh, normally they are repetitive. Uh, basically, these are called repetitive motion injuries also because they are because of repetitive motion. Suppose you are doing some work in which you have to lift the thing again and pick it up again, again pick it up. ये repetitive motion है. That repetitive motion will create some kind of stress in your body. There is a meaning of it. These affect the muscles, joints, bones. and uh, due to uh, obviously these ergonomic risk factors and these are the main or largest category of workplace injuries and 30% of uh, total compensation jo milta hai that is because of these injuries age nutrition activity these are the reason obviously age is one of the reason for that <coughs> high task repetition awkward body posture sitting in same posture lifting heavy weight these are some of the causes of that so these are called <coughs> your uh msd so i am very sure you have uh, understood couple of things here in uh, a topic which is the safety topic kon kon se laws hain bahut document mein aapko de raha hu isme isko revise karo just download it i told you keep a file in which all these 500 plus approximately now 600 questions and we'll keep on uploading more you keep that with you and i'm very sure some question is certainly going to come from there fine thank you